Yay, I got my living room back finally. Yeah, you do now. However, Sony just called. And remember that 98 inch Sony TV that everyone's been talking about? They have it available for us to pick up. So we're gonna go get that and unbox it, but stick around to the end because we're gonna be giving away some Sony and Gobi products as well. Let's go get that TV, come on, we gotta do it. Okay. All right. That was heavy. Yeah, big TV. We should unbox it though. Let's go. Let's do it. So this is kind of the logistics challenge when it comes to these giant TVs is that you can take around an 85 inch TV or less, not that hard, but TVs of this size can be problematic and one of the reasons that they cost more, you know? We had those two 83 inch A90J TVs that got damaged in transit. I mean, that's like $16,000 worth of TVs destroyed by a shipping company. So a lot of reasons why these TVs are more expensive. So yeah, $10,000 is not super cheap, but let's hope that they're less expensive as the year goes on. Okay, well, I don't think there's anything on top, but can you double check because yeah. I can't see. Yeah, I got a little better vantage point. No, there's nothing on top. I guess just that. It's the guide. Okay. So let's pull the sides off. There's a bunch of tabs we gotta grab. You wanna pull these out? Yeah, let's go. Ooh, very easy to do. You got okay. that one? Yeah, I got this one, thank you. So this is something I've not seen before. It being like completely wrapped in this tinfoil type stuff here. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. You wanna break the tape? There we go. So let's get this stuff off and then let's take the ends off like we're supposed to. And then we can lift one side up and pull the plastics off and then lift the other side up and pull the plastic the rest of the way off. I'm gonna pull out this side. So we've identified, we got the feet and the remote and all the contents are kind of on the bottom here as opposed to the top, so no problem. We'll just set those aside. We gotta figure out how to get the rest of this plastic off here. Do you wanna unwrap and I'll lift? Sure. Okay. All right, I think we need a little help here. It's a three-person job. We gotta lift this thing up and get that out of the way. We got double handles, Eric. You wanna help me out here? Let's do it. All right, ready? One, two, three. You wanna go back in? Make sure the TV doesn't tip over if you get this TV and you're doing that. We're gonna have to uh, have a little management of this while you're putting those feet on, Jen. The stand seems a little bit more narrow than the TCL uh, 90 inch we had. Those were on the end, so you had to have an enormous stand. You're still gonna have to have a large stand for this one. So what do we got here, Jen? Can you slide it in? Let's see, let's do it. I think I might need you to lift it up just a little bit. Yeah, Brian, can you hold that up in place for me, you please? Got it. Thank you. You ready, Jen? Yeah. We're gonna lift this out. You wanna set it forward so we can put the stand behind it? Sure. Okay, ready? One, two, three. Oh, that's good. Okay, so we got it in a position. We're gonna move the stand in place. I think it's gonna, it's gonna fit on our stand, obviously, because the feet are narrower than the TCL. And that's why we have that giant Ikea thing, is for this purpose. But if your stand is not very big, it's something to think about. Squat muscles ready? Yeah, I'm good. One, two, three. Well, it's time for my favorite part, but I think I'm gonna need a stool, Brandon. Yep, I got you covered. Thank you. Okay.
Awesome. Well, that was very satisfying. <laughs> All right. That was a heavy lift. Gigantic as we had expected. A little heavier than I thought. I was hoping it would be a little bit lighter. It isn't. The feet are a little bit more narrow here. But the feet are really long, which kind of surprised me. So I would probably feel more comfortable with a deeper stand. Yeah. I mean, this is, you know, this is 18 inches here or whatever, but those things are, they're like clown shoes on the bottom of the TV Absolutely. here. Absolutely. I mean, they got to design it the way that they need to for the leverage. Uh, but overall, looks pretty cool. Really big TV. And then getting on the backside here, it's a little bit thicker than I thought. Maybe I thought it would be a little bit narrower. And if you're going to wall mount this, it's got a smaller pattern than the TCL. This is a 600 by 400, I think, millimeter. I think the TCL one was gigantic. It's like 850, which is not standard to other mounts. So you do have to make sure that the TV mount you have is going to be able to support the weight. But it's at least it's a more standard pattern. So that's definitely a positive. We won't get a million people asking us what mount can possibly lift this one like that. So cool. And then I think we got some HDMIs. You want to show the peoples? So we've got four HDMIs and two of them are the 4K 120, which is really nice. And then we've got the eARC right here. And everything else is pretty standard. We've got the two USBs, the digital audio output. We've got the S Center speaker in, so you can hook it up to a Sony soundbar, which is really awesome with the Sony TV. And then we also have our LAN, and then we have our IR options, and then the antenna down at the bottom. So yeah, overall, it's pretty standard to the Sony TVs. I mean, you have the speakers here that are going to put sound out to the side. Again, that connects with the S center in and your sound bars as well and kind of creates a good sound system. And then it's got the handles. You know, it's, it's funny. Definitely nice to have. You're going to use them once or twice, but I don't know aesthetically if the handles, and you can actually unscrew them. So I think you can take the handles off. So maybe we'll do that. But more or less, obviously it's a giant TV. So let's turn this thing on and see what it can do. I'm getting pumped. That's very pumped. So here's the Sony remote. They ditched the numbers to make it a little bit more compact. No shiny silver finish or anything like that. And I don't believe it's backlit. With a $10,000 TV, it'd be nice to have the backlight, but it gets the job done. Let's turn it on. Okay, here is the remote. I'm gonna pass it over to you. you. I'm gonna let you handle your business here and get the TV set up. I'm gonna go take Caesar out for a walk. Do you wanna go for a walk? Let's go, come on. Welcome back, Jen. Thank you. All right, so the first thing I wanted to show people, the Google operating system. Yeah, this is the same operating system I've seen in our bedroom TV, so yeah. pretty nice. Pretty straightforward, you got a billion apps, everything you could want. You can put in different profiles for different people. Uh, not gonna get too far into that, but we like the Google operating system. Even comes with a bunch of cool art you can put on when you're in standby mode, as opposed to just watching a black rectangle, your favorite thing. Yeah. So to get to the important content, what's the obvious thing that's most important to us? Steelers games. Uh, football in general, Packers too. But when you're watching that sort of thing, it's upscaled from like lower resolution. Overall, I expect this TV to be awesome for those kind of sports, but you know, it depends on what source you're feeding it. We're not gonna always have 4K, you know, not everything is broadcast like that. So for the most part, we watch this YouTube TV. And I think that the Sony does a pretty good job of upscaling. The motion looks good, the colors look good a little bit more so than the TCL we have. I think it's a little bit sharper on this. And again, that depends on what kind of source you have. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the Sony for watching the sports and news and things like that. So we watched some NFL. How about we do some Lego games? You wanna show them some, some actual gaming? <laughs> yeah, let's nerd out on that. All right, what game are you playing? I'm playing DC Villains. So we've got all these good guys and bad guys fighting to save the world. Ah, very important stuff. So the important points when it comes to gaming is that it does have four HDMIs, two of them 4K at 120, so you can use all your next gen consoles. It's not quite as bright in game mode as it was when we were watching some of the other content, but it's much sharper than it was when we were watching that SDR YouTube TV stuff. It does have this cool game bar now, so you're able to see some of the features and what's going on. So overall, pretty awesome, good for gaming. I'm pretty happy, are you good with it? I'm digging it, I'm yeah. having all sorts of fun. And it's obviously a giant immersive screen, so even more fun. So now that we're done with gaming, I wanna go quickly over the tests we did. So first, blooming is something that people concern themselves with when it comes to LED TVs. I don't really notice it from straight on. You do see it a little bit when you're off angle, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it for a TV of this size. 
Now, another test that we do is the dirty screen effect test. We're looking for uniformity issues in the panel, and sometimes these TVs, they don't look great. However, we looked at this pretty closely. I do see a little bit of cloudiness here or there, but it's not nearly as bad as I would have thought and actually pretty acceptable. So again, happy with that. And then lastly, we have the reflection tests. Normally this X90 series is more of a matte like finish, but in this TV, you see a little bit more of the rainbow effect that you'd see on like an X95 series. Do you see that kind of around the edges? Yes, I see the rainbows. Yeah. So, I mean, I actually like that because it does a better job of handling the reflections. So overall, another win for this TV. So really all we have left to do is check out HDR footage. So the HDR is definitely a bonus. It's pretty bright, isn't it? It's like burning my retinas bright. Well, I figured that was coming. I didn't want it to burn your retinas, but I'm glad it's very bright. That's a benefit of this TV. Super bright HDR, it has Dolby Vision. I think it looks exceptional when watching something like this. And even in the darker scenes, you can still see, you know, nice bright highlights. So again, overall, this X90L is what I would expect from Sony, just a massive 90 inch size. Great upscaling, motion, and picture quality for sports and cable. The gaming is very sharp, colorful, and immersive, and the HDR looks fantastic, surely impacted by the enormous 98 inch screen size. So we're enjoying it, and we look forward to comparing it to the TCL 98 inch that we have next to it. All right, so that's all the content, but now we have to talk about the giveaways. Yes, first up, we have this Sony S2000 that we featured in one of our other Sony videos. We got to see how that works. Yeah, works great. Now it's going to be given away. And then we have the GoV T2 backlight system that we just did a video on of the 100 inch. But we have three of these and you can choose which size you want to get depending on your TV. And I want to thank Sony and GoV for giving us these products to give to you guys. So how do they enter, B? That is a good question. So we want you to follow us, of course, you know, subscribe to the channel, like, comment, all that stuff. Follow us on Instagram, follow us if you're on Twitter. But really, there's a couple of links for us to do this through our newsletter and the TV quiz. So if you go to our website with the links below, you'll find the newsletter there. Sign up, put your email address in there because that's how we're gonna notify the people who win. And the easiest way to do it is just go ahead and fill out the TV quiz. It'll give you a couple of options for what are the best TVs for you in your home, in your situation. And once you do that, it'll enter you into our newsletter. And check out more unboxings right here and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.